Screencast is going to show you how to sign up for Zaption uh, and how to use Zaption to view videos uh, that have embedded questions. So instead of watching a video on the projector all at once and stopping and taking notes, you'll be able to watch the video at your speed, play it back as much as you need to, and answer questions that are already embedded in the video, and you'll just type in the answers on your Chromebook or your whatever device you're using, desktop, whatever you happen to be using. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Zaption, um, it's called the Zaption Lesson that has the video in it. So this first one we're gonna look at is World War One in six minutes. Now usually the link will be on my Haiku class. Um, in this case, I just copied and pasted it. Okay, so here we see World War One in six minutes. Now I'm gonna click log in. Okay, so I'm gonna click Google. And I'm going to log in with my demo Google account that I use to show you student stuff. Okay, so we're going to click student here. Now I'm going to click let's go. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem that I was having. If this happens, it seems like you're signed up, but for some reason they are confused because I filled in all the fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Um, X off of this and then I'm going to open a new screen okay so now here I am I'm successfully logged in and uh, I'm k12 I'm a student and we're gonna do sign up okay so now let's try this we're gonna click copy and paste the lesson for World War One, and it looks like it's going to work now so that's a little bit of a tricky way to sign up um, if you have any trouble with signing up let me know and we'll troubleshoot it in class now we're gonna start the video the politics of 19th century Europe were messy What's changed? It was made up of various empires spread. Okay, so this is the six minute intro to World War One. So we're just going to watch. You'll notice when you get to this point at 51 seconds, there's going to be a question. So let's just watch and see what happens. Sitting across the world, trying to show each other who was the biggest power. They each built up massive armies to stave off war, thinking that everyone else would be too scared to fight against them. Or so they thought. Things all changed when a gang of Yugoslav nationalists who didn't like being part of Austria-Hungary shot the Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand while he was in Sarajevo. Swiftly, the Austro-Hungarian Empire declared war on Serbia. Russia came in to aid Serbia, so Germany decided to declare war on Russia. Knowing that France would go to war with Germany, Germany decided to attack France quickly and invaded via neutral Belgium and Luxembourg, and because of this, Great Britain stepped in to stop the Germans getting any closer. It was a mess of allegiances and old rivalries with two sides forming, the Allies and the Central Powers. And so began what became known at the time as the Great War, the war to end all wars. Okay, so here's our first question. All right, so this is a um, check uh, box question. So what's going to happen is you're going to check all the ones that are correct. So let's see here. The U.S., Germany, and France were the Allied powers. Well, no, there was no mention of the U.S., so I'm not going to check that. We'll find out the U.S. came into the war later. Russia, Britain, and France were the Allied powers. Ah, it's true. They were all on the same side. Germany and the Austria-Hungary Empire were part of the Central Powers. Also true. Russia and Germany were on the same side. Well, you know what? Let's, let's check. So now I can go back. The Austro-Hungarian Empire declared war on Serbia. Russia came in to aid Serbia, so Germany decided to declare war on Russia. No ah, okay. So let's go back to our question the great war the war to end all wars okay so they were not on the same side and we know britain and france were the allied powers so a new form of warfare evolved okay so now i hit submit and now mr weller is going to be able to observe my response and then we can see if a lot of people get this wrong, then we'll go back over it. If most people get it right and a few people are off, then Mr. Weller can check in with those folks before the next lesson um, and, and we can 
figure out what we need to review that way. So this is kind of just an intro. We're going to watch three of these videos uh, for our World War One and 1920s lesson, um, and we'll use it to intro time periods um, as we go through future time periods. So if you play through, you'll see that there's these little lines right here. These are different kinds of questions. Uh, some of them are open response questions where you'll type an answer and hit submit, and some of them are checkbox or multiple choice. When you have finished with the Zaption, you'll just go ahead and uh, go to the next one, or if you're finished with all of the videos, then you'll, you'll go on to the next uh, assignment or task.